WJCA News. I'm Senior Delaney Peter. And I'm Senior Jake Buds. The weather for today is partly cloudy with a high of 34 and only a high of 25 tonight. Tomorrow, however, will be a little warmer with a high of 54 degrees during the day. That should be great weather for our state runner, Marcus Porsche. We had Jake interview Marcus earlier this week about his amazing achievement. Hey guys, back in the studio. I'm here with Marcus Porsche, and he recently qualified for state. Uh, how did you qualify? Uh, well, it was hard. Uh, I had to be top seven uh, in the boys' division to qualify. Uh, I was really hoping to go with the team, but uh, going as an individual is good as well. So, I had to be top seven, number five qualifier, so that was good. All wow. time. So. Um, now, where is state this year? Uh, it is in Peoria, uh, Detweiler Park, uh, this Saturday. Awesome. Um, so, how do you prepare for a race such as this one? Uh, mainly just like a lot of stretching. Obviously, the pre meet practices before a little shorter. Just a lot of stretching. Um, eating my pasta every time, every time. And uh, just getting some good rest. Drink a lot of water. Now, um, are you excited for this race? Are you nervous? Uh, I'm kind of nervous, but uh, I mean, I'm, I'm mentally ready. I'm just ready to go out, run a personal best, to see what I can do. Awesome. Well, everyone here at JC wishes you good luck. Thank you. Back to you guys in the studio. Uh, what a great accomplishment, isn't it, Delaney? Absolutely. We all wish you the best of luck at state tomorrow, Marcus. In other sports news, the football team takes on Mount Zion this Saturday at 2 p.m. Let's try to get a big crowd out there to cheer on our Hilltoppers. Congrats to volleyball for winning sectional semifinals against Lamont on Monday and beating Providence on Wednesday. Great job, Angels. They play again on tonight at Hinsdale South. Let's go out and cheer them on. In other news, Delaney here met with ASL Club President Steph Bertino, as well as Dr. Fisher to discuss the amazing turnout for their fundraiser. Hi, I'm here with Stephanie and Dr. Fisher, and we're here to talk about ASL Club. So what exactly does the ASL Club do? So basically we just teach other students and teachers if they want common signs, the alphabet, so finger spelling, numbers, common phrases, and how are you, um, what's your name, like that kind of stuff. That's awesome, and when do you guys meet? Every other Wednesday. 7.15. Awesome. Okay, so I know that you guys raised money a couple weeks ago when we had a paid spirit day. What was that money for? It was for an organization out of Texas called A the Silent, and they're a nonprofit, and they raise money to get kids hearing aids, um, ASL lessons, to cover treatment if they can't afford it, anything to help them hear more. And how much money did you guys make? We raised over $1,000. Oh my gosh. Way to go, <laughs> JCA students. So, um, what are your guys' future plans for the club? Like anything that you know that's going to happen or things that you would like to do in the future? Um, we do want to help out with the virtual 5K. So, they have a 5K in Texas in May. So, we're going to try to get one going here at JCA to raise money for them again. That's super exciting. All right, well, thank you so much. And make sure you get out to the next ASL club meeting. Back to you guys. I'm so glad we could all come together to contribute to this amazing cause. Uh, we're going to take a break from the news and cut to a new segment called Delaney Does Things. Hall monitor Delaney. Today's a Tuesday. I'm doing my daily job of keeping these halls clean. There you go. What did you do? You're too loud, freshman detention. These kids, we gotta clean the streets. Joey O'Connor! Marcus, you didn't do good enough at cross country today. Detention. <laughs> Emily, you're ugly. Detention. You're a hall monitor. You're also ugly. Detention. That's an unallowed Sherpa. Detention. Yeah. What are you doing? Detention. <laughs> Come back. Nobody's wearing ID. Wait. It's Ultra. You're late to class. Detention. Nobody's wearing ID. Wait. 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 Wait.
So for the Undy Sunday Drive, we went to the Giving Tree in Lockport to drop off items to the Catholic Charities. That sounds inspiring. <laughs> Do you have any more updates for us? No. Not at this moment? That's no. okay. We all support Jimmy Sharp's endeavors here at JCA. Let's hope we get as much Unday in this Sunday as we can. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Audrey. I absolutely love this donation fundraiser, even if it's nearly impossible to pronounce. Yeah, Audrey seemed to be struggling with that. In other news, JCA Drama Club has been working on their fall production, Dracula. Delaney spoke with two of the participants of the play. Thanks, Jay. Okay, so I'm here with two members of the Drama Club. Can you guys tell me what your names are and what characters you play? Yeah, uh, hi, my name is Joey O'Connell, and I play Count Dracula. And my name is Eileen Maldonado, and I play Lucy Westbender. Awesome. So can you guys tell me what Dracula is about? So Dracula is about a vampire and his quest to marry a wo woman named Lucy, Lucy Westbender. Denra, but it's not too easy though because Professor Abraham Van Helsing and then Doc, Dr. Patricia Seward come to Doc Van oh. And then this is Abraham Van Helsing and that is Dr. Seward. So when does the show meet? Like when do you guys meet to rehearse? Uh, we meet Monday through Thursday from 3 to 6 in the Sinos room. That's awesome. And when is the show? So the show is November 20, 21st to the 23rd. Uh, it's on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 7 p.m. And uh, there's also a matinee at 2 p.m. And where can you purchase tickets? Uh, we should be getting an email out this week, so just be on the lookout for that, and you can order your tickets online. How much are they gonna cost? $10. All right, awesome, thank you guys so much. Please come out and see Dracula. <laughs> they talked about my character in the play, not yours, Delaney. Why don't you tell everyone who you play? Well, I play Lucy's mother, Martha, in the play. It's a great show, and I highly recommend coming to see it. Uh, Audrey caught up with some of the seniors in the Environmental Club. Hi, I'm here with the Environmental Club, and I'd like to start off by asking Bridget what the blue bins in our classrooms are for. Um, so, as you've noticed, there's blue bins in each classroom, and you can put, like, paper or um, loose leaf in there. So I highly suggest you use them. Jake, can you tell us what you can put in the bins? You put paper in there, aluminum cans, hard plastics, and cardboard. And Thomas, can you tell us what we can't put in them? You can't put soft plastics, styrofoam, or any food. Awesome. So Claire, can you tell us a little bit about the Canvas Grocery Bag Program? Sure. So our big fundraiser of the year is going to be getting um, Canvas Grocery Bags that are reusable with the Victory Light on one side and then sponsorship logos on the other side. So. If you or somebody you know has a business that they'd like to sponsor, it's one. It's a one-time $50 donation, and the money that we raise from selling the bags throughout like the JCA community will go towards putting in a water bottle fill station in the new technology center, and then one down by the gym as well. Well, that's great. And Max, can you tell us why we'll be planting milkweed at JCA this year? Yeah, so milkweed and wildfire plants are host plants for monarch butterflies and their flowers provide nectar for bees, butterflies, and other beneficial insects. And by planting these plants in the JCA community, we can attract like more butterflies and wildlife to our school. Wow, that sounds really beneficial to the environment. Well, thank you guys, and just like they said, everybody go out and start recycling. <laughs> it's great that the students here at JCA are taking the initiative to save our planet. Oh, well, that's all the news we have for you today. Signing off until next time. Go! go.